The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild has finally arrived. I've been looking forward to this game for quite some time. I can't even really think. It's been like at least a few years that I've just been salivating over the idea of a new Zelda game. We finally got one for the Wii U, sort of. The Wii U is basically done now, but it's being launched on the Nintendo Switch, which I did pick up on opening day. This was a really cool experience for me. It was actually the very first time in history that I've ever been able to obtain a Nintendo console on launch day. That's never happened to me before. I was never able to afford it in the past, and so... I don't know, I just, I got a, it was a little tear that came on my eye that just made me feel extremely nostalgic, but I picked up this game and I've been playing it daily ever since for probably too many hours. In fact, I've gotten so into this game that my wife has even picked it up and she started to play it as well because this is genuinely one of the best games I've ever played, easily, without a doubt, and I've thought a lot about this. I think it's my favorite Zelda game of all time. The plot of Breath of the Wild is basically that you are, of course, Link, but you've been asleep for a hundred years. You've been in some form of hibernation, and you have now been called forth to once again save the land from the evil Ganon. And every character spread out amongst this land has a vague memory of having heard of you before, but no one believes that you are truly Link because he hasn't been seen or heard of in a hundred years. So you have to prove yourself to every single one of them by doing a lot of menial tasks and eventually facing a lot of bosses. What makes Breath of the Wild so incredibly unique amongst the vast amount of Zelda games is the world itself. Never has a Zelda game felt this real. When I jump off of a tower and I paraglide around, the world does not feel like it's loading as I get closer to it. It all seamlessly blends together as a realistic place. You'll be up on this tower and you see something in the distance you want to obtain and you think, okay, I can probably make it to that. And you paraglide down and then all of a sudden you realize that you are in a rainforest or in a rocky mountain terrain and you are nowhere near your destination and it's gonna take some time to get there. This game feels so realistic in that way. Never have I ever picked up a game that feels so absolutely like a realistic world. Everything about Breath of the Wild took my breath away, no pun intended. This isn't like a mind-blowingly different Zelda game from the others where you pick up this one and go, oh, this is just too different, I don't appreciate this, they tried to, you know, fix things that weren't broken. This game does feel like it totally resides within the other Zelda canon. But some of the cool new things are like the cooking system. You can collect a lot of different foods, mix them together, and then throw them in a cooking pot and see what comes out of it. I have had so much fun doing that. You have the option to skip the little cooking cutscene that happens every time you try to mix some food together, but I never skip it because I like seeing Link going, hmm, hmm, do, 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 oh, oh, whenever he cooks something. <laughs> To my knowledge, this is also the first Zelda game to have full cutscenes with characters talking with dialogue, not just subtitles. And a lot of them are really entertaining. A lot of the characters in this game I really latched onto. They're all side characters and none of them really matter all that much, but the characters are really enlivened in Breath of the Wild. Something else I adore about this game are the shrines. You can go around the entire world and locate these shrines. Now at first they're glowing orange and you can see them in the distance. Some of them are hidden, but the ones you can see, you try to get to them and then you go to them and there's either a test of strength with this thing called a guardian that tests you and you have to try to beat it. But my favorite shrines are the ones that are some form of puzzle. And that's what my wife really got into. Sometimes she'll just run around and go to shrines and not even try to defeat any of the bosses or do any of the main quests. She just loves climbing towers, getting fast travel locations, and defeating shrines. But I don't blame her because a lot of the puzzles are really ingenious. They're the best puzzles I've ever really encountered in a Zelda game, and having played pretty much all of them, that's saying something. I mean, I purposefully lengthened my time period in playing this game by not doing all of the Divine Beasts, the four that are in this game, and just running around the town, collecting various foods, cooking, doing a lot of side quests, talking to people, helping people with their marriage. There's this one couple in, I believe, Kakariko Village. The girl is like, my husband's obsessed with chickens. I don't like him anymore. And he's like, oh, I wish I could go home, but my wife doesn't like how I'm obsessed with chickens. And I'm like, oh my God, this is the best game I've ever played in my life. <laughs> 
But it's true, I purposefully lengthened out the period in which I had to play the game by not even doing a lot of the main quests because I just wanted to do a lot of the side stuff. Another really cool new mechanic is the advent of having a camera. You can go around and take pictures of things, but since you have been in hibernation for a hundred years, you've lost your memory, and Link has no idea who he is or what he's done before. But he does have Zelda's camera. So he can look at the pictures that Zelda took a hundred years ago and try to find those exact locations spread out amongst this world so that he can regain his memory. This game is filled with so much. I mean, you can run around for entire days, like actual real world days, and not get any of your main quests done because you're just experiencing the world. This genuinely is one of the best games I've ever played, and it is my favorite Zelda game of all time. If Nintendo can continue with this type of quality for their games from here on out, the Switch is probably going to be one of my favorite Nintendo systems of all time. Let's hope they can. I'm going to give Zelda Breath of the Wild a 10 out of 10. This game is perfect. I have not a single flaw with it. It is one of those rare games for me in which I want to do everything. Not just the main stuff, but I want to find the crazy blue bunny when you shoot it and you get stuff. I want to combine food and cook it and do like all this crazy stuff. Guys, if you don't have a Switch, try to pick one up. If you have a Wii U, it is available on that system. Look forward to this weekend because I'm going to be posting my review of Ghost in the Shell 2 Innocence. You guys are the best. Thank you very much as always for watching. And if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.